I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a magic carpet ride. Four fully electric Rolls Royce. Spectre without launch control. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty-four horsepower, six hundred and sixty-four pound-feet of torque from a one hundred and two kilowatt-hour battery and two electric motors. So this is the first fully electric Rolls-Royce you can buy. Yes, and Rolls-Royce is fully transitioning to EVs by twenty thirty. There will be no V12s, no gas engines. And this is not an electric car first. Rolls-Royce is telling us this is a Rolls-Royce first just happens to be electric and they are 100 percent correct on that yeah and <laughs> i'm just gonna say this that this is the world's greatest car and we will give you the points as to why that is first of all the sound it is so quiet in here the quietest car and we've driven numerous rolls royces this is the quietest car we've ever been in yeah and i think the batteries work as sound deadening and then they added more sound deadening yeah, there's like 700 kilograms of sound deadening uh, aka through the battery below us and i'm gonna Give a little gentle boot through cliche corner. Dude, you can give it a good one. This thing actually rips. Yeah, yeah. Is, <laughs> this is so weird how I, it's so quiet, but just rip it through. And that sound is like a um, or like a Viking thing. I don't know, it's, it's kind of an interesting sound. So they decided to do a two-door electric Rolls Royce to start off. Yeah, rather than like an SUV or something like so that. This is a super coupe and it's the same dimensions as the Phantom Coupe from back in the day. It's the successor to the Phantom Coupe and kind of the Wraith because you can no longer buy the Wraith. But this is not above the Phantom. No. In the hierarchy of Rolls Royces. Yeah, Phantom is still top. Man, I feel like this is too quiet. Too, I know. We're too calm in here. It feels weird. <laughs> it's so, it's unnervingly quiet almost. Is there anything you don't like about the looks? Do you like the new split headlight design? I really like it. It's, it's futuristic, but still completely Rolls-Royce. Like, there's nothing about it that doesn't say Rolls-Royce from the front end. And if you're wondering why we we're driving a pink one, it's because I got to pick my spec. Throttle House got to pick their spec. They went with gold. Yeah. I wanted this because I got the shoes to match. I got the shirt to match. I let Yuri have at it. I'm like, Yuri, you, you pick. This is a, what's the, this color is called Morganite. Yes. And it's uh, based off some crystals. Yeah, something like that. It is very, very cool. Hard for it to pop in all lights because it's not metallic-y, but it looks so nice. And then we got a nice white interior in here with a lot of like maroon, burgundy, purplish, especially like on the dash, it matches the steering wheel and the side view mirror. And then also the trunk, it's got that nice fabric that's on the floor and on the carpets. It looks like something out of the 70s. Yeah, yeah. But in a, a high quality, fancy, good way. Exactly. Uh, this is a very interesting spec. Not the one that I would purchase, but I completely understand why Yuri picked this one. And then we've got really nice, probably the nicest floor mats of all time in here. I mean, a set of tux mat would be nice. If you want to make your car into a Rolls Royce, go to tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes to see what they have for your car. I don't know how to best describe the pumped in sound, so I'm gonna floor it, and whoever has the best comment describing it will get pinned. I'm going yoga Viking. <laughs> Wo whooshing Viking? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's not offensive, and you can easily turn it off. Here, let me. Oh, that's pretty cool with it off. This is nothing. That make. Okay. <laughs> The weirdest part about this car, or it's also the best part of this car, it's an experience that you can't get from any other car ever. Nope. And that's why it's the coolest. Like there's some odd stuff, like you're so floaty, but nothing else feels like that. It's so quiet, but nothing else on the road is this quiet, especially combined with the speed handling and comfort. Yeah, so the comfort, the ride quality is unparalleled. So the Ghost already had that suspension for the suspension, but this apparently is like 30% stiffer. It's I think it's the stiffest Rolls Royce they've ever made because of the battery and it was integrated into the architecture from the architecture of luxury. It was always meant to have both an ice powertrain and a battery. 
So this is like extremely floaty and they didn't need the suspension for the suspension on the uh, upper control arm or the upper whatever part of the suspension. It's just, it's insanely comfortable. Okay, back to the looks. Do you love, love, love how there's no B pillars? Oh yeah, it's the best part. With all the windows down, this looks absolutely amazing. And then we do not have the two-tone version. There are a bunch of two-tone versions and they design every Rolls Royce to have a two-tone version. And these wheels are also pretty sick. They're like not electric-y at all. Nothing about this says electric from the exterior. Yeah, the, the wheels are great. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for a Rolls Royce? The Conti Sport Contact 5 would be the one that we had on the Phantom when we drove that earlier this year. And then moving on to the rear, no exhaustive because it's electric. We should <laughs> probably listen to it from the outside. A little spooky yeah, yeah every electric car is a little spooky <laughs> and then the last thing besides the spirit of ecstasy which pops in and out which is very cool and now also more aerodynamic yes the most aerodynamic spirit of ecstasy they've ever made well i guess not the last thing i like that i want to talk about the tail lights how they pop out that's pretty cool they're they're small i don't mind them they're pretty nice and then how about the grill yeah the grill is uh, the widest one they've ever put on a rolls royce and the slats are kind of at angles so depending on where you're standing, different things are being reflected. It's pretty interesting. All right, Steppenwolf, your turn to drive. Do you understand that reference? No. Magic Harper ride. Ah, oh, got me. Because <laughs> the ride is called that. Okay. All right, so it turns out you need to walk in front of the car to switch drivers. And hands-free using my foot to close that door. I'm going to Had pull to this little there. button here. And the car is now off, which you can barely tell when this thing is running. And it actually says start engine to turn it on, even though we don't have an engine. And Rolls Royce purposely did that so that people wouldn't be confused by a motor or they, something like that. They did so much stuff to keep this normal car. Yes. And I, I appreciate it more than all the other companies screwing stuff up. Oh, yeah. You're, I don't even know if I'm going to floor this car. You are but I will. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's okay. get that sound back on. <laughs> Why isn't it mind-meltingly fast like a Tesla where I get a concussion? Well, because they specifically tune this to feel like the V12, which makes complete sense. And that is what I want from all these companies because every company is going to have to figure out a way to differentiate themselves once they have these EV powertrains. Obviously, Rolls-Royce went for the extremely luxurious, not neck-jarring uh, version of that. Yeah, and I, and I love it. And I've always told you, I'm like, why can't an electric car company program the exact speed of like in shift points that a Camaro would do back in the day or like an 80s Camaro or like a Mustang? And they are programming their electric to feel a lot like a V12. Yeah, and then if you roll into the th throttle, that's when it really feels like uh, almost a traditional gas engine. When you mat it, that's when you like, it actually gives you the instant torque. So I'll floor it once we get straight here. But it's still so smooth. But it's it's not uh, nauseating in no, any way compared no. to a lot of electric cars. Although I was a little bit nauseous when I got in here because it was so quiet and so comfortable. I've never experienced anything like this. Yeah, but, it, but that's like, it takes a second and then it's like, wow, this yeah. is so, so relaxing. So let's get into the secondary part of this car. Uh, it is an EV. It does have a range. 260 miles nice which is who cares because i'm gonna be honest nobody is gonna charge one of these publicly everybody's got a butler everybody's got a the charging station at home or whatever it is the person that owns this isn't the person that's going to plug it in and charge it i saw another review and it said if a rolls royce owner drives more than 300 miles in a day they'll just take a jet yeah exactly and that, uh, that's like that is 100 percent right and i think rolls royce says that the average rolls royce customer for someone that's shopping for this has seven cars at their disposal at any time and probably a jet and a boat and whatnot <laughs> yeah. i don't even know maybe a rocket ship but it is it is i would love to see this at a public charger <laughs> yeah it'd be interesting i just don't think we'll ever see one to no, be honest no and then the zero to 60, this being an electric car, is 4.4 seconds, which is, they wanted it to be on par with their V12 Ghost, the black badge, which makes, again, total sense. I'd it, love to see like a fully tuned up one. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, we're racing this one, it's gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it, this does have four wheel steering and it shortens this massive wheelbase so much. Like you feel like you're driving such a small car, even though this thing is absolutely massive. The one weird part 
for me about driving this that I don't like is that the steering wheel is thicker than previous Rolls Royce steering wheels. I did notice that. I do prefer the thinner steering wheel of the Phantom. It just it, there's nothing it, wrong with this. No, it's just I I like that. Yes, and it just feels more luxurious to have a thinner wheel for some reason in a Rolls Royce. I don't know why. And that's my only complaint. Uh, I fully understand that. And I know you do like uh, one pedal driving. This does have it if you press the B button on your uh, drive stock. So now we're using one pedal driving down the road, and it will actually if you're not going down a hill, it will come to a complete stop and it regens a lot too yeah and it's very nice very natural feeling electric car nothing weird about the driving part yeah like when you let off the the throttle it does feel like a regular gas car at no point when i'm driving this am i thinking about the propulsion system you not for, once you forget that it's electric and you're just like i'm just driving a soup it's like wow they made this rolls quiet and you're like oh yeah 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 yes and it is obviously all-wheel drive with the uh, dual motor so you could drive this thing year round and have no issues but back to the doors uh, so yes, you can open and close them with some buttons. You can also uh, close them from the outside if you just touch the outside button. And then we do still have the umbrellas in the doors, but they're in the front fenders, which is so cool. Like those umbrellas are yeah. huge. It's like the fact that and there's they, that much space there. And they match. Yeah, of course, which is obviously an option. Um, so you still have all that regular traditional Rolls Royce stuff, including our center stack all here. Everything here looks the same as a ghost. Even though because it's an electric car, they could have made it blank in the middle. They didn't want to make it weird electric -y, just what their customers wanted. Including the one to eight hard buttons, which BMW has deleted. Does that mean I have permission to talk about the infotainment? Full permission. The infotainment, it is based off the newer BMW infotainment. They got rid of their one to eights. We still have that. That is the best thing ever. Number eight, as always, all the customers know, makes the Spirit of XT go up and down. And this infotainment now, you know what it's called? Yes, you know, it's called Spirit. Yeah, it's called Spirit, which it, is perfect. To me, I feel like it's a, it's a magic genie. Like you can say in a BMW, hey BMW, you can't say, hey Rolls Royce, but what you can do is click this button. Play Sirius XM 90s on nine. You are listening to channel 90s on nine. There you go. Those sounds. Like the in and out sound, everything about it, it's like my personal magic genie in the Rolls Royce, I love it. And it does work really well. Massage seats. Turned it off. Because I had it on the whole massage time. massage is already off. That outro, I like, this is the coolest. Yeah, so that's great. And then we also have a full digital display in front of the driver, obviously, because everything is digital at this point, but it does mimic a traditional display, but they actually put like a little bit of a color tint to the gauges depending on the spec of your car and you can't change it after the fact even though it's digital. Yeah, because it's done at the factory. And I love how you still have your power reserve, which is not your battery reserve. You have your like battery percentage on the right. The graphic design is amazing. And I would just like to say the graphic design, the marketing, the video, everything, the website about Rolls-Royce is so perfect. Yes. It's unreal. No car company even comes close to having as good like footage for like nothing is ever bad from them no exactly and then the fact that this is displayed all my information is displayed so clearly like the range is right there and the battery is right there that's all we ever want from a car why is that so difficult for every other company to get wrong okay back to the infotainment more cool stuff that this has apple carplay wireless it works great and then we also have some really fun things that are also in BMWs. We have drive recorder, which is cool, which we could set to our favorites here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also have the backup assistant. Yeah, we got the 360 stuff. We have really good adaptive cruise lane keep, which I don't think Rolls Royce has had before. Yeah, at least not this good. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's proper like similar to newer BMW stuff. Yep, and then our climate controls are traditional. We have red or uh, blue. blue, and yeah. then we have soft, medium, high, and max, because this is exactly just a Rolls Royce. Yeah, and I guess if you want the air to go different spots, you have to plug these things. Oh, is... and then you get ping ping, which is also Yeah, the turn signal is a variations of the pings pings. Yeah, so they recorded the ping ping sound from all the metal and then digitized that, which is pretty cool. Do you like our door cards? Because you can now get Starry Night, Starry Light, Headliner, and door cards. For the first time ever, yeah, we don't have them, but it's so cool that it is now an option. Uh, we have this like crazy wood panel thing, which it, this looks like a yacht. Yeah. This is just full yacht spec. It looks it looks really cool. I don't think I would need the starry light 
door panels, but I also can never afford one, so it really does not matter. I'm I just, mean, I would go for the starry, starry night panels. Is it starry uh, night or starry light? Uh, starlight. Star. Okay, so it's all starlight. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. you're, <laughs> sorry you're poor. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have starlight headliner, which obviously still has a, sh a shooting star, and then we can change the brightness of the stars and we can actually turn them off if we wanted to but why would you ever want to so they're going right back on uh and i could look at those stars in the back seat where both of us fit behind ourselves very comfortably yeah it's really nice back there there's no adjustment when you're back there yeah and you can't control the front infotainment but you don't need to because this is like this is for the, the driver the drive yeah it's the driver's car rolls royce it's not it's, a phantom it's so nice back there and then when you drop all the b pillars and, and all the windows like that is really cool like you're very cocooned in here but the coolest part is like sitting back there you can actually like put your elbow up there because it's just with no b pillars it's so nice i forgot about something yeah you can pop the bonnet and what's under there a gigantic aluminum panel yeah. that covers the electronics that we were too scared to lift <laughs> yeah because it is aluminum and it's very expensive and yeah. we don't want to break it and another thing with the interior, it says Spectre in front of you on the passenger side. And when it lights up, we have the night sky. And there's over, I think, 5,500 individual LEDs that took, I don't even know how many hours to develop. But it looks incredible. And we got a little clock next to it. Yes, which is obviously a, a very expensive clock. Okay. Are they expensive visors? I'm sure they are. Will they slide? Uh, probably. Three, two, one. No. Oh, oh no. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Maybe because it's a coupe. Interesting. And the cup holders, uh, they totally pass. They'll fit whatever espresso machine yeah. stuff you get <laughs> from, yeah. from your butler. <laughs> exactly. Okay, how about these front seats? Are they not the most comfortable seats ever? They're so comfortable and you can get a massage, uh, no complaints at all. Although one thing that I've noticed is that, you know, Rolls Royce always has effortless steering. I feel like there's slightly more effort into this car for some reason. Maybe it's because of the thicker wheels. The wheel. thicker steering. <laughs> it, it's, it's extra weight, but it's still basically there's, effortless. There's like really, that is like the minorest <laughs> nitpick and it doesn't really matter. And you were yeah. saying when you had all the windows down and you were driving, it was so quiet. What did you hear? I heard the wind from this car brushing against the bushes along the side and I heard leaves. Yeah. I've never heard that in my life. Imagine. I've always heard just like, bop, 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 because all loud exhaust and stuff. But even in EVs, I don't hear that sound. It's a, an experience I haven't had before, and it's just very, very cool. Yeah. So I think for all of those reasons that we've listed, this is literally the world's best car. And if you couldn't afford the world's best car, we'll get to the price in a second. What would you get off tsb.truecar.com? Uh, I don't know, maybe a Corvette Z06. <laughs> uh, I, I go for an older Rolls Royce that I could afford. Yeah, I mean, I do still want a Rolls Royce at one point in my lifetime, whether it's a Ghost or a Phantom, I think, because they're getting a little bit more affordable on the used side. One day, maybe. One day, hopefully. So is this your favorite looking Rolls Royce right now? Your favorite Rolls Royce? <sighs> It's up there. Um, it's just hard to say no to a top of the line Phantom. Exactly. But if, if it wasn't for a top of the line Phantom, like this is probably the coolest thing. It's my favorite coupe, Yuri. What color would you have gone? Or like what color of all your imagination would you pick for something like this? I don't even know. I'd have to sit down with a Rolls Royce person. And they would just have to tell me what would look good. Cause I, I'm not good. Like if there's not a color palette that I could just, I'll take a yellow or a green or a blue. I don't want like 52 million shades of blue. I don't know. I think I think this is a great, great spec and I'm very, very happy with it. So I got my purple shirt, purple shoes. And I think with all that out of the way, it's time we get to the price. I do think a blue would look really good for me in this. This starts at 420,000 US dollars. And this one is 534,575 US or 630,800 Canadian. I mean, I get it. It's not for us, but for the people who can afford it, they will love it. Yes, and apparently they're attracting newer uh, buyers and they consulted with their existing clients and were asking them when they wanted an EV and they said, we want an EV now. This makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, if you're buying one, enjoy it. Uh, send a photo of it to us. Yes. Uh, use tsp.truecar.com. So we know you bought one. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think it'll, I don't know. No, let, let us know how you spec your uh, Rolls Royce out. And did you trade in a gas Rolls Royce to get this Rolls Royce? And what's your favorite feature of this Rolls Royce? Yes. Mine's kind of everything. This is such a nice car. Mine is the infotainment named Spirit. <laughs> like, that's the coolest thing. I, I want to be a, hey Spirit. Yeah. Next, next update. Maybe, maybe.